Uh, Margaret wants to yeah. interview you for a moment. Okay, sure. Okay. About what? Oh, you work here, though. I'm a volunteer. You're a volunteer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, then this is, okay. Should we grab someone who's not a volunteer, or is it okay to grab volunteers? It's okay. It's okay to grab volunteers? Okay. Is this your first Ignite? It is my second Ignite. It's your second Ignite? Yes. What did you learn differently today that you didn't learn last time? Um, I'm not so sure if it would be differently, but I, I learned that there is at least more than one person out there who thinks the same way that I do. So that was a good find for tonight. When did you experience that revelation? Um, well, my personal revelation has um, happened over the past couple of months, and the presentation that spoke to me tonight was about radical altruism. Um, yeah, so that was really great, and to hear that um, there's other people out there who um, know that change comes from within and has to happen first before you can share that and have an impact on the world. So, yeah, that was really great. Um, is this your first Ignite? No. No. This is my first Ignite. This is my second Ignite, actually. Yeah, second Ignite. Okay. What, uh, what's your experience so far? It's been incredible. I mean, I mean, I came here with a very open mind and I was here to learn. And I was here to just get other people's perspectives on things. And it's very exciting. It's very positive. And it's been good. Okay. Um, what was your experience with the, with, I'm sorry, which of the shows did you prefer tonight? Which presentation? Um, I don't know the actual name of the presentation, but the second presentation that happened, the woman who was in prison and talked about people who uh, used art, you know, seven, you know, back in 17,000 years ago and today and how people see things. It was very warm, very, uh, Kind of a vague thing to say, you know. You're talking about art, but it was very cool how she uh, how she gave her perspective. On it. Okay. What do you feel you learned today? What do I feel I learned? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still figuring that out. You're definitely <laughs> learning how to talk to more strangers. That's oh, for sure. Is this a stranger for you? This guy? No, yeah. no, no, definitely okay. not. Okay. No, definitely not. Probably my best friend ever. So I don't uh -huh. know, figure I'd show him the experience, but yeah, talking to strangers is definitely something cool and interesting to learn now. What are your names? Chelsea. Chelsea? Kevin. Kevin, good to meet you. Good Bobby, meet you. this is Marcus. Marcus. Um, okay, this is your first Ignite. This, this is my, my first Ignite. My, my second first. one. Yeah. Yeah. second one, okay. I led him here, so. <laughs> what, 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 was the, what was the experience that was so profound last time that they wanted you to come back? You know, I was so inspired to do something. I didn't actually end up doing anything last time I came, but I, I came to the first Ignite, and I think it was Ignite 5, and there was just, it was the crowd, really. It was that whole group mentality of everyone is just feeling so passionate about doing something, you know, just no matter what it was, if it was physics or math or food or something. I felt like there was such a different, like a diverse group of people, and that was inspiring. Uh, okay, how about tonight? What what inspired you tonight? To come here? No, uh, what of what the speakers so far? Oh, definitely the inspired? altruism guy. Yeah. Right. Was, yeah, I was literally like, oh my god, I think I'm going to cry. Crying. She's like, <laughs> I was like, I want to walk with you. <laughs> He's so great. But yeah. everyone's been fantastic. Though. I like yeah. the movie posters. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. He was very good to yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is this your first Ignite? It is not my first Ignite. What other Ignites have you been to? Yeah. Six. six. Oh, not six all. other ones. I've been to number all. six. Oh, number six. As this is seven, you saw the t-shirt. It's just seven. Oh, and they're doing other things. Like, the art of video games is coming up soon. Oh, I know. That's, that's my thing, right? You saw that? Do you remember the, do you remember the game he's going to be talking about? What? Did you see it? No. Shadow of the Colossus. Wow. Yeah. Very popular game for the PlayStation 2. Really? That's all yeah. right. Okay, I don't know if it was popular, but it was highly acclaimed among the small group of people who actually knew about it. What, did, what do you feel you actually learned? What was the most impactful thing you learned today so far in the first presentation? Oh my god, what happened? Learning. So that, that's why. I like the girl who was talking about getting out there to talk to people. Because, uh, you know, we all have to learn how to be interesting sometimes. And so she kind of helped each other. She could probably talk for another three hours and help people out who aren't as outgoing as this little guy right here with his camera. So that was probably probably my favorite so far. But in terms of impact and specific things I learned, I don't know if I could name one for you. Except maybe that people in prison have a lot of time on their hands. This is your first Ignite. No, I have actually been, should I look at the camera or look at you? Uh, you can look at me. Okay, so I've actually been to every single Ignite since the very first one. Every single one, what is your, what, why? So, Jeff Moriarty 
one of the organizers and another gentleman, Roger Williams, were organizers of the first one and I, they were friends of mine, they told me about it, they encouraged me to submit to speak and I did, I spoke at that first one, I loved it so much, I've been to everyone so much, uh, since then and I really, I know a lot of the people who organize, I love them, I love to support events my friends put on and so, and fantastic talks, I mean you can't not enjoy yourself here I don't think. Something to do in Phoenix. Yes. So, you know what though? There's a lot of things to do in Phoenix. It just depends on where you look. But this is truly one of the amazing things that happens.